Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. If you have ever had the urge to go around blowing people up in a virtual block game, this is the video for you. Today's video is about the best public hack clients for Crystal PvP. I will tell you the pros and cons of each client. Some of these are paid for clients and if you would like to download or purchase any of them, their official links will be in the description. I'd like to make it clear before we get into the review that the purpose of this video is not to decide the best hacked client of all time, but rather to show you the best hacked modules of each client so that you have a better idea of which hacked clients to combine for the best PvP experience. The four clients we're going to review today consist of Russia Hack. GameSense Client, Phobos Client, and the Future Client. The Rating System To start off, I spoke to multiple people in the community to find out exactly what the most useful hacks are. Keep in mind, some of these are newer hacks and have not been added to all of the clients, but given enough time, they should all be added to most popular clients. Crystal Aura Automatically hits and places crystals. Auto Trap Creates a safe hole around the player. Auto Trap traps a player in Obsidian. Hole ESP highlights the safe holes. Burrow glitches the user into a block. This does not work on 2B2T. City ESP highlights the block that is protecting a player. Offhand allows you to hold a gapple in the offhand. Works with Auto Totem. Aura automatically hits players with the sword or axe. Packet Flyer allows you to escape quickly, also used to phase through blocks. Auto Totem automatically places totems in the offhand. Packet EXP automatically heals armor when toggled with XP bottles. Piston Crystal places a piston and pushes a crystal into the player's hull. Strafe a speed hack to escape. Sev Breaker places obsidian and a crystal above a player then breaks the block. Keep in mind, all of these clients have other modules that are helpful during Crystal PvP. I have just made a list of hacks that most of the clients share for the sake of a review. These hacks will be rated out of 7. The higher the final score, the better the module. 14 times 7 is 98, so to make the final score out of 100, I will add an extra 2 points depending on how customizable the client is. The last thing I should mention before we get into the review is that Crystal PvP varies a lot between servers. What works on one server might not work on another. This video is mainly for 2b2t.org, but everything I show works on other servers such as 5b5t or 2b2tpvp.org. Client number 1, Russia Hack. To start off, this client seems to be a popular choice among CPVPers. While it's definitely not the most popular option, it is still a very capable client. It is a paid for client retailing at 20 US dollars. The default GUI key is P. Crystal Aura. The Crystal Aura module is decent and is customizable enough to work on most servers. 5 out of 7. Auto Surround. This module has a lot of settings and works flawlessly, 7 out of 7. Auto Trap. This module is quite customizable and functions well, 6 out of 7. Whole ESP. This module is the most customizable out of any client, 7 out of 7. Burrow. In Russia Hack, this module is called Self Block and is getting an update soon. Right now, it gets 3 out of 7 as it can be buggy. City ESP. This module works but is not customizable. 4 out of 7. Offhand. As of now, this is not a module, but I am told it is going to be added soon. 0 out of 7. Aura. The Aura module is pretty good but not as good as other clients. 4 out of 7. Packet Flyer. This module is currently pretty broken but apparently is getting updated soon. 2 out of 7. Auto Totem, this module is great, 6 out of 7. Packet XP, this module works amazingly, 7 out of 7. Piston Crystal, this is currently a missing module but is being added in an upcoming update, 0 out of 7. Strafe, this module is customizable and works really well, 7 out of 7. Sev Breaker, yet another missing module that will be added soon, 0 out of 7. Overall, I really like Russia Hack. The majority of its modules are well made and the client is updated frequently. The owner John is a really nice guy and often fixes problems and has even completely rewritten modules in the past. For now, this client scores 1 out of 2 for customization options, but after the big update that I'm told is coming, it would score an easy 2 out of 2. This brings the client's overall score to 60 out of 100. Watch to the end to see all of the client's final scores compared. 
Client number two, GameSense Client. This is a free and open source client on GitHub. I've heard a lot of people saying it lacks features, but in my opinion, the few hacks it does have are really well made. To open the GUI, press O or P. Crystal Aura. This module has the most options and when configured correctly, it can be very powerful. 6 out of 7. Auto Surround. This feature is amazing. 6 out of 7. Auto Trap. This module works but can be buggy if a player isn't centered on a block. 4 out of 7. Whole ESP. This module looks good and works well. 4 out of 7. Burrow. As of making this video, this is a missing module. 0 out of 7. City ESP. Another very customizable and well made module. 6 out of 7. Offhand. This module is decent but it can be unreliable. 3 out of 7. Aura. Unfortunately, this module is not as customizable as some other clients. 4 out of 7. Packetfly. There is no Packetfly module, 0 out of 7. Auto Totem. There is no Auto Totem, only an offhand module, 0 out of 7. Packet XP. This module is well made, 7 out of 7. Piston Crystal is an amazing module that scores an easy 7 out of 7. Strafe. There are a lot of options and finding a config for different servers is somewhat easy, 5 out of 7. Save Breaker. This module is amazing and works really well, 7 out of 7. This client is missing a lot of modules but can be very powerful when combined with other clients. As for the extra 2 points, GameSense scores 2 out of 2. This brings the final score to 64 out of 100. Client number 3, Phobos Client, version 1.9.0. This client is also free, but as you may have heard, it is backdoored. This means to use the client, you have to manually remove the malicious code. Fortunately, someone by the name of GoPro336 on GitHub has cleaned the client and released it on their page. I have a link to the clean version in the description. Note that this client is known to crash a lot. To open Phobos, type the following command, dot bind, click GUIP. This will set the GUI key to P. Crystal Aura. This module actually isn't the best and most people use other hack clients for this module. 3 out of 7. Auto Surround. Very customizable but can be buggy if the player is not centered on a block. 4 out of 7. Auto Trap. This feature is amazing and is the most customizable module I have ever seen. 7 out of 7. Whole ESP. Works well and is another very customizable module. 6 out of 7. Burrow. There is no Burrow module. 0 out of 7. City ESP. Unfortunately, there is no City ESP. 0 out of 7. Offhand. Phobos offers the best offhand module of any client so far. 7 out of 7. Aura. This module is customizable, but I find other clients like Future better. 5 out of 7. Packetfly. This module works, but not on all servers. 1 out of 7. Auto Totem. There is no Auto Totem module, only an offhand module, 0 out of 7. Packet XP. There is no Packet XP module, 0 out of 7. Piston Crystal. There is no Piston Crystal module, 0 out of 7. Strafe. The Strafe module is customizable and works well, 5 out of 7. Save Breaker. Unfortunately, there is no Save Breaking module. 0 out of 7. This client definitely deserves 2 extra points for customization. Every single module has an insane amount of settings. Phobos scores 44 out of 100. Client number 4, Future Client. This client costs 20 US dollars and in my opinion is well worth it. The client is well known and has many features. Future is not open source, however its user base is large enough that most people agree it is safe to use. The default GUI key is right shift. Crystal Aura. This module is amazing and gets 7 out of 7. Auto Surround. This module is called Auto Obsidian in Future Client. It works well and is very customizable. 6 out of 7. Auto Trap. This is a missing module. 0 out of 7. Whole ESP. This module works well and is somewhat customizable. 5 out of 7. Burrow. Another missing module. 0 out of 7. City ESP. Currently is not a module. 0 out of 7. Offhand, a missing module, 0 out of 7. Aura, the Aura module is very customizable and works really well, 6 out of 7. Packetfly, the Packetfly module can also be used to phase, 7 out of 7. Auto Totem, this module works flawlessly, 7 out of 7. Packet XP, this module does not yet exist, 0 out of 7. 
Piston Crystal, yet another missing module, 0 out of 7. Strafe, the strafe works well and strict mode works on TB2T, 6 out of 7. Save Breaker, unfortunately at the time of making this video, Future Client lacks this module, 0 out of 7. Future Client is very customizable and scores an extra 2 points, with a grand total of 46 out of 100. Don't let this score discourage you from using the client, while it may be missing a few modules, overall the modules it does have are really good. I recommend pairing Future with other free clients such as GameSense. In first place we have GameSense client with 64 out of 100. In second place we have Russia Hack with 60 out of 100. And in third place we have Future client with 46 out of 100. And last but definitely not least of all we have Phobos client with 40 out of 100. Conclusion. By this point it might be obvious, but by far the best thing to do is load multiple clients at once. This way you can keybind and use the best features of each client. Personally I use Future Client alongside Russia Hack. However, I hear the most common clients to pair are Future Client, GameSense and Phobos or Russia Hack and Phobos. However, you can try any combination of clients. Just keep in mind, if you are playing on a lower end PC, loading multiple clients at once could considerably lower your FPS. Also, some clients conflict when loaded together, causing your game to crash. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. Huge shout out to Q3M, Doogie13, Farmer Joe aka Jennifer, Keckware and Netherhub for helping me with the research for this video. Please consider using code Q3M when purchasing Russia Hack. I'd like to quickly shout out my Patreon for all of the support, as well as an absolute legend of a player by the name of Cap with a K, who recently bought me Priority Q. Otherwise, it has been your boy Carlab. Peace in the Middle East.